Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Doodlebug Design's brand new Lots of Love collection. This is an adorable collection, perfect for Valentine's Day cards, but you could also use it for other card themes. Now I am focusing on Valentine's Day cards since I need some for the residents at a local retirement home. I always make sure to have enough cards for all of the residents for all of the main holidays throughout the year. I wasn't feeling well at the beginning of January, so I'm definitely running a little late for my Valentine's Day cards. But now that I have this video finished, I have all that I need, so that's very helpful. And thank you to everyone for all the get well wishes. It really does mean a lot to me. Now, in addition to the six by six paper pad, I also purchased two of the die cut packs. I have the odds and ends and also the chit chat, and I did pick up two of each. For embellishments, I have a couple of the shape sprinkles, the bright bouquet, and also the love you more. The little tiny hearts are perfect. And then I have several of the doodle pops and two of the shaker pops. And as you can see, I also have two of each. The Doodle Pops and the Shaker Pops both have quite a bit of dimension, but since I won't be mailing these cards, I'll be hand delivering them, it doesn't really matter how thick the cards are. I will also be using Love From Lizzie peel-offs on my cards. I'm showing the pinstripe right here, but I'll also be using some of the mini shapes. And if you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. And if you are interested in the card sketches I use in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. I have several different sketch sites linked over on my blog. This video is one of my traditional six by six videos where I show the full process of turning a paper pad into a set of cards. I won't be doing a full voiceover this time. If you don't like to watch the process, you can always skip to the end to just see the cards, or you can also see those over on my coordinating blog post. Since it takes several hours to turn a six by six paper pad into a set of cards, this video has been sped up five times. The real time recording was around five and a half hours, and that doesn't include any of my planning, prep, or die cutting time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I read every single comment and reply, and I appreciate you taking the time to do that. And if you haven't already noticed, this is a fairly long video. So please sit back and relax and enjoy my video.
Here are all the leftover pattern paper scraps. I do still have quite a few of these teeny tiny tags. I find them too small to use on a card, but they're so adorable I have a problem tossing them as well. Last year, I saved all of the leftover scraps from my six by six videos. I collected them in a box and then I pulled them all out and made 13 more cards. Not sure if I'll be doing that this year, but that was a very popular video. So I am saving those scraps right now and we'll see what happens when the year ends or the beginning of next year. In addition to the paper pad, I also used 14 sheets of 8.5 by 11 and 6 sheets of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. I made a total of 36 cards using Doodlebug Designs Lots of Love 6 by 6 paper pad. And if you watched the full video, you may have noticed I also used some of Doodlebug's coordinating petite print 6 by 6 paper pads. I found most of the patterns in this collection were fairly busy and I wanted to bring in some more muted or tone on tone designs and their petite prints are perfect since the colors coordinate beautifully with their collections. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.